Chaudhry Muhammad Ali was born on 15 July 1905. He got his primary education from Nahangal Arabia School. The school was then upgraded to middle level and Muhammad Ali completed his middle education from the same school. He was awarded a scholarship based on a good performance in the middle of examinations. He received a modern education and up-to-date training due to his father's attention. His father was much impressed by the theory of modern education of the Aligarh movement. After graduating from Islamia College in 1925, he got admissions to the University of Punjab and completed his MSc degree in 1927 he was a big fan of ilama iqbal's poetry he was very involved in the literary activities along with his friends chaudhry muhammad ali set up a scientific society his activeness in the muslim students politics could be judged by the fact that he participated regularly in the processions of anjuman e himayatul islam He worked for the annual session of the Muslim League as a volunteer. He was impressed by the thought-provoking addresses of Jinnah but took part in the active politics in 1926 when Ilama Iqbal contested the elections for the seat in Punjab assembly. Afterwards in 1928 he contested the supervisor's service exam and got commissioned in the indian civil services he joined the audit and accounts department and was deputed as account general in 1932 to bahawalpur state he was the first indian till that time to be appointed on such a high rank in the state of bahawalpur at the time the state was under heavy debt of the central government due to the improper balance sheets of accounting records Muhammad Ali as the account general paid his attention to the problem which was causing poor economic conditions in the state of Bilawalpur His reforms in accounting records resulted in dwelling expenditures and escalating revenue The state was thus able to pay back the debt to the central government of India Muhammad Ali's excellent performance in Bilawalpur state led him towards the Department of Finance and Commerce and he was appointed under secretary in the central government Next year he was promoted to the post of secretary to the central finance minister When World War 2 began he was deputed as a finance advisor for war and supply a post never held before by any indian he was awarded the title of obe when he traveled to the war front in the middle east in 1942 secondly he was awarded the title of cie in 1946 when he was sent as a member of the hadri mission to england due to his extraordinary abilities and performances he won praises even from qaid e azam Even though he was aloof from active politics he was fully aware of political trends due to his community consciousness Chaudhry Muhammad Ali provided his technical expertise in the preparation of Liaquat Ali Khan's poem and budget When Pakistan was established Muhammad Ali became secretary general to the new government He played an important part in the organization of the cabinet and provided his expert assistance related to financial affairs to the finance minister Ghulam Muhammad for the preparation of the first budget of Pakistan Ayub Khan in his autobiography mentioned that the prime minister of that time Mr Liaquat Ali Khan was under the considerable influence of Chaudhry Muhammad Ali his administrative services despite scanty resources were admired 
even by the last Victorian of India, Lord Mountbatten. He concentrated as a revenue minister in the cabinet of Khwaja Nizamuddin with all his attention to improving the revenue. He discouraged borrowing and achieving the target of industrialization in a short period. In 1953, he suggested new taxes while presenting the budget. He was appreciated for his economic policies by both the national and international press. Then he was elected as Prime Minister in 1955 by the Parliamentary Party of Muslim League. Soon after taking responsibilities for the job, he made a promise to his countrymen that before the end of February, the Constituent Assembly will approve a constitution for the country. He then tried his best to fulfill his promise and the Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan was promulgated on the 23rd of March 1956. Although the Constitution was dismissed within two years in 1958, it was extremely popular and was considered a mix of democracy and Islam. He was a great economist. Dependency on foreign borrowing was very low during his rule. Chaudhry Muhammad Ali played a key role in the development of the economy of Pakistan. Preparations for the first five years plan was one of the great achievements of his government. Muhammad Ali resigned from the position of Prime Minister and for the Muslim League as well when he failed at healing rifts with Muslim League and the new party, named as Republican Party. He did not remain silent even after his resignation and raised his voice against the dictatorship of Ayub Khan. He wanted to unite the democratic forces against dictatorship and for his purpose he tortured both East and West Pakistan to mold the options of the public against Ayub Khan. The composition of combined opposition parties was the result of Muhammad Ali's efforts. He also prepared the manifesto of this combined opposition while working for the restoration of democracy. His health began to weaken day by day. He retired from active politics, but he kept on expressing his opinions and views continuously on all appropriate issues till his death on 1st December 1980.